Hello there, this is Rahul. I hope you are doing good. And today we are going to discuss one more interesting topic that is Cloud Nuke. As the name suggests Cloud Nuke, that means we are going to nuke or destroy or delete the cloud resources. So we are talking about the major cloud service provider that is AWS, Google Cloud or Azure. So these are the main uh, cloud service provider which are supported by a Cloud Nuke. If you are using Terraform for provisioning your infrastructure setup, then I think Cloud Nuke is going to be a really good addition to your infrastructure framework. The next question comes like, why do you need a Cloud Nuke when you have a Terraform with you? Take an example to understand this. So you have a Terraform with you and you're using Terraform for provisioning your infrastructure setup. And you are either working with the AWS or Google Cloud. So when you work with the AWS or Google Cloud, then you provision either EC2 on a AWS or virtual machine on a Google Cloud. So when you start development, then you start provisioning those resources onto cloud service provider. So at the end of the day, when you are done with the development, what you do, you just issue a Terraform destroy command and that destroys all the resources. But what happens is like uh, when you work on a development side, then you create and destroy the resources many number of times during the day. So suppose is there a case that uh, you tend to forget to destroy any of your resources into development environment, then what will happen? That resource will keep on running into the cloud services and that will keep on consuming the CPU and the bandwidth in the cloud environment. And then eventually you need to pay the prices for those resources, which you are not using it. So suppose that your cloud development environment is getting messier and you don't know how many resources you have started and how many resources are consuming CPU and memory. So in that scenario, Cloud Nuke will help you to destroy and make a clean slate of your development environment. Okay, so now you have a really basic understanding like how the Cloud Nuke works. So in today's session, what we are going to do, first we are going to install the Cloud Nuke and then we are going to play along with the Cloud Nuke command so that we can destroy some of the AWS resources which we have created into our AWS or a Google Cloud environment. Let's start by installing the Cloud Nuke and this is my terminal. Uh, one more thing uh, along with the today's session I'm just going to share this guide and in this guide you will find all the instruction like for installing the Cloud Nuke, how to use the Cloud Nuke and uh, yeah, so it will be everything into this guide. So I'll post the link of this guide into the description section of this video. So feel free to use this guide. For installation, if you are a Mac user, then I would highly recommend to use a brew. So this is the command brew install cloud new, and that is going to install the cloud nuke onto your Mac operating system. But if you are a Windows or a Linux user like me, then you can head over to github.com. I'll put the link of this GitHub repo also into the description section. So here, if you head over to their installation section then you will find a release page so just click on this release page and here you will find all the packages which you need to download based on your operating system so if you are using windows 64 then just go for this and if you are using linux like me then uh, just go for linux amd 64 okay so just copy this link from here uh, you can just go and right click and copy link here and go to your terminal and use the wget command to download the package now we have completed the download clear the screen verify the package so yes we have downloaded the uh, file which we needed for a linux the next thing which we're gonna do we are gonna rename the file so i'm just gonna uh, type in the move command and I'm just gonna rename it to cloud nuke and again verify the changes so here uh, the file has been renamed to cloud nuke the next thing which we need to do we need to check the permission uh, on this file so I'm just gonna run the command ls and here we can see uh, it has only read write it doesn't have executable permission so what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna change the permission ch mode and put 777 and then put it cloud nuke and again you can verify the permission by using the command and here you can see now it has an executable permission after downloading the file what we need to do we need to copy the file that is cloud nuke to the user bin so i'm just gonna use the command sudo uh, because we need a root permission and then cp for copy and then a file name that is cloud nuke and then the path so that is going to be user and then bin okay and then hit enter uh, enter the password and now you have copied the file to the user bin and you can verify the installation by running the command cloud 
nuke and it should return you something like this and the version so the version which we are using for cloud nuke is 0 0.5.1 one more thing for today's demo uh, for cloud nuke i'm just going to use the aws so this is my aws account and to access this aws account via cloud nuke uh, command line interface i need to provide the access key secret key and the reason so these are the three things which we need to provide and uh, for that what we need to do we need to export as an environment variable so these three variables we are going to export and uh, then we are going to use the cloud new command lines now the question comes like from where to fetch the aws access key secret key and the region so if you go to your aws account and by the way this is my aws demo account and here uh, once you create your aws account then first thing you will notice over here is your region so here is the drop down and here i'm since i'm in the europe region that's why i have chosen europe frankfurt region that is eu central one so that is my region name so either you can make a note of it or either you can copy it from here and keep it somewhere onto your notepad and second thing you need to uh, get the access key and the secret key that you can find it from here uh, here you will find your name i'll increase the font size of my browser so that you can see so here is my name go to my security credentials and inside the security credential you will find access key and the secret key so here click on the access keys uh, go and create new access keys here you will get two things one is the access key and the secret key so simply you need to copy this and put it somewhere uh, onto your notepad later on we are going to export the both access key secret key and the reason name now after generating the access key secret key i have composed this command so simply you need to uh, type in like a export aws access key and in the double quotes you can put the access key same goes with the secret key and the region so create those command on a notepad and simply copy those command from here and go to your terminal and paste it over here and remove the space hit enter same goes with the uh, aws secret key copy from here go to terminal paste it and remove any spaces hit enter and lastly that is the region copy and paste it over here and hit enter okay moving to the step number four uh, the next command which we are going to run is the cloud nuke aws now we have exported our access key secret key and reason so now cloud nuke command uh, or the cloud nuke command line interface can communicate with our aws account and if you issue this cloud new command then it is going to destroy every resources which you have or which you have started into your aws account but since uh, our aws account is quite new and i have not set up any uh, virtual instance which is up and running so what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna start a simple ec2 instance and then we are going to use the cloud new aws command to destroy it so i'm just gonna fast forward this process because uh, it's a simple process where you need to go to your aws account and go to your ec2 dashboard and then start your or launch an ec2 instance all right so here we have an instance which is up and running and the status you can see over here is green and it's running so this is the e ec2 instance uh, which i have just started and this is just a t2 micro instance so we are just doing it for demo purpose that's why i have just kept it a bare minimum and if you go to the ec2 dashboard and refresh it over here so here you can see the you can see there is a one instance which is up and running so now after starting the ec2 instance now we are going to use the cloud uh, new command to destroy the resources let's get back to terminal and here we have already exported the access key secret key and the region so now what we need to do we need to run the command cloud nuke aws and here uh, first of all it is going to tell you like these many resources it is going to uh, delete and destroy so here you can see this is the ec2 and we have started the ec2 instance so it is going to delete that ec2 instance and it might take a little bit time because cloud nuke is going to be a, a rigor rigorous command and it's gonna take some time to delete all the resources so it took a time and it has checked all the region like how many resources i have started in all of my region 
but anyway uh, it is going to ask you for the confirmation like are you sure you want to new call the resource enter nuke to confirm so here once you get this message then simply type nuke and hit enter and again it might take a little bit more time to terminate and delete all those resources so i'll be back once uh, this is done all right so now my cloud nuke command has just finished and here you can see there are two ec2 instances which has been terminated so one instance which we have just started and another instance which i have stopped previously so for cloud nuke it doesn't matter like in which state of your ec2 instances it is simply going to terminate all of your ec2 instances along with that you can also see there is a s3 bucket which i had so it has also terminated and deleted that s3 bucket so let's get back to our dashboard and see how the dashboard looks like so here, uh, this was my dashboard before running the cloud nuke command and now I have run the cloud nuke command. So simply I'm just going to refresh it. So here you can see uh, now the instances running is zero and you can click on it. And here you can see all of our instances has been gone. So there were two instances. One was in running state and one was in either I think stopped or a terminated state. So it has deleted all of our instances from here. Well, that's a one way to delete all of your AWS resources using the cloud new command. But does cloud new command provide some specific uh, commands which we can use to delete some specific resources? So here I'm talking about the specific reason. So as you know, like in the AWS, there exist so many reasons. So right now I'm into EU central reason on the Frankfurt. But in case I want to delete only, let's say, uh, EU south resources. So whatever resources which I have started into EU south reason, I just wanted to delete those resources. I don't want to delete the EU central reason resources. So is there any command for cloud new? So yes, there are some flag which you need to supply. So as you have seen, I'll increase the font over here. So this is my cloud new command and followed by AWS because we are using AWS. Then you need to supply the reason flag along with the reason name. So here I have supplied EU central reason, but uh, for our example purpose, we can supply the EU south reason. So it is only going to delete the uh, resources of our south reason. So that's how you can optimize your cloud new command to delete some specific resources of some specific reason. So that's the one command which you can use for deleting the uh, resources reason wise. Now you might be wondering like how many resources or how many different type of resources which you can delete using the cloud nuke command. So there is a really good handy command like cloud nuke AWS list resource types. So this command is going to uh, list out all the resources which you can delete using the cloud nuke command. So go back to your terminal. I'll clear the screen over here and paste the command. So here you can see these are the resources which you can uh, delete or nuke using the cloud nuke command. So whenever you feel like uh, uh, you don't know which resource uh, cloud nuke is going to entertain, so simply just run this command and this command will tell you like these resources uh, can be deleted using the AWS nuke. All right, so till now what we have seen like how to use the cloud nuke AWS command and how to use the cloud nuke uh, AWS command with the reason uh, so that you can exclude the specific resources from that particular reason and also we have seen like how to list out the resources which are supported by a cloud new command the next command which we are going to see how to exclude the specific resources so here you can see this is an example where i am running the cloud nuke aws command but here i am excluding the s3 as well as the ec2 instance so i don't want to delete the s3 or ec2 instance so here, if you go to my dashboard, uh, so this is my dashboard where I have already created an EC2 instance, which is up and running. So here you can see this is my EC2 instance, which is up and running. And I have already created an S3 bucket. So here, click on it. So here, this is the test bucket for uh, Cloud Nuke. So what I'm going to do with this, uh, I'm just going to exclude both of these resources and I just want to delete everything else. So using this command and providing this exclude resource type, you can exclude some of your specific resources and that will help you to uh, make it more generic approach for deleting and nuking the resources. So copy the command from here and uh, go back to your terminal. And this is my terminal. I'll clear the screen over here and paste the command. 
uh, probably what I'll do, I'll just uh, remove the EC2 also. So I will keep only the S3 resources and I just want to delete the EC2 instances. So here again, I am just keeping the exclude resource type on S3. So I want to keep my S3 resources or the S3 bucket and I just want to delete the rest of it. So in the rest, it will include the EC2 instance also. Simply hit enter. And again, it might take a little bit time. So I'll be back once it's done. All right, so the cloud new command has just finished. Let's get back to our AWS dashboard and type in S3 over here once again and go back to your S3 dashboard. So here you can see our S3 bucket is still there because if you look back our command, then we requested to exclude the S3 resource or the S3 bucket. So that's why S3 bucket is still there. But if you go to the EC2 dashboard or the EC2 uh, web page of our AWS console, then our EC2 instance might have been deleted. So here you can see uh, all of our EC2 instances has been gone. So with this uh, exclude resource type field or the flag, you can exclude some specific resources. So if you don't want to uh, delete the S3 or EC2, then you can just keep on adding those excluded resource and Cloud Nuke will exclude those resources from deleting and nuking it. So this is how you can customize your Cloud Nuke command. And moving further in the guide, there is a one important concept about the dry run. So since cloud nuke command is all about deleting the AWS or the cloud resources, so is there a way like you don't want to delete, but still you want to test the cloud nuke command? So yes, there is a way and you can use the cloud nuke AWS and you can put the resource type which you want to delete and then you can supply the flag that is dry run. So what will happen is it is going to uh, behave exactly the same, but it is not going to delete any of your resources. So it is just like a debug command for your cloud new. So you can simply copy it. And uh, uh, I think we need to work on our S3 resource because S3 resource is still there and we have deleted our EC2 resources. So what I'll do, I'll clear the screen. I'll paste the command over here. And here I'm just going to change it to S3 because S3 resource is still there in our AWS uh, cloud environment. So simply hit enter. And again, it might take some time because it is checking every resource in available in our each region. Okay, so now our dry run has just finished. And if you look carefully over here, so S3 test bucket for cloud nuke. So that's the test bucket or the S3 bucket which we have created for our this demo. And it is saying that the following one AWS resource will be nuked. So it has not nuked it or it has not deleted it. So it is simply a dry run. So this command will help you to tell that if that resource is available onto your AWS cloud environment or not. If it's available, so can we delete it or not? So using this dry run flag, you can uh, easily test those kind of a command instead of deleting them directly. So with that, we conclude our session on a cloud nuke. I hope this cloud nuke command will help you to clean up your development and the test environment. And also I would highly discourage to use the cloud nuke command onto your production or a staging environment. Because if you don't know your production and staging environment very well, then you might destroy quite a lot of resources, which is necessary for your production or a stage environment. If you like the today's session on a cloud nuke, then please hit the like button and also do follow this channel where I keep on sharing the similar content on our DevOps generally on a Kubernetes, Terraform, Helm chart and AWS and sometimes on a Docker also. So see you into the next session of our DevOps till then. Bye bye and take care.